In this video, we're going to go through a number of the apps and integrations inside the Builderall platform. Hey there, my awesome fellow entrepreneurs, and welcome back to this video series. In today's video, we're going to finish off the rest of the apps inside the Builderall platform. In our last video, we got down to the chat review tool, so we're going to start off with the auto post tool today. So the auto post tool allows you to schedule content. Right now, it's only Facebook that you can use in there, but they're going to be adding more platforms such as Instagram, LinkedIn and more later on. So to start off, we need to click account manager. And then we can add a new account. And right now, as you can see, it's just Facebook. So we add Facebook, log in with Facebook. And it's going to take us to Facebook so we can accept the permissions. So just the main page that you want to connect to it. And now it's linked. It will take us back to the auto post tool. So here's my page that I just added. And now you can schedule content by clicking this button here. And then you click in the box to add the content that you want to schedule. So you can schedule text, image and video up to one gigabyte and up to 20 minutes maximum. So I'm going to add a test post at 2.04 in one minute from now. And it's just ticked over, so put it to 2.05. Add rule. So I'm going to come back to that in just a moment. The next tool that we're going to go over is the share locker tool. Now the share locker tool is a really cool app which allows you to force people to share a piece of content before they can get access to it. So you can force them to either like, share or both. So there's a few different options here and we're going to go through the simplest one which is the basic pop-up. So if we select this and we can put in a title such as share locker and then we need to grab the Facebook page. So I'm going to go over to my Facebook page, Market with James. And as you can see, that test just came through on the Market with James site. So it's working as it should. And now I'm going to grab my URL from up here, type the page, and then share the page. It doesn't have to be the Facebook page. This can be the page that you're actually promoting. So it creates like a viral loop. Whatever page that you put this on, you make that the share page and then someone shares it and then to get access to it, the next person has to share it as well. And here's where you can select like and or share. And then you can just put in an image here. So this is the image that will pop up when someone tries to access the page. And here's another image which is shared onto Facebook when someone shares it. So this is this will be the image of the content that you want and this will be the image telling them to share and like before they can get access so all you need to do is do all of this fill all of this in generate and save and i forgot to put there in so so i have to put some images in so let's put some images in so generate and save and once that's done you'll be brought to this page with the script code to put into the head tag of your website so if we come into the website here and come into the head tags paste and save now if we come back to the website Here it comes, it pops up with the image and you have to like, I already like it so, and then you have to share to get access. So once that's shared, post to Facebook. It opens up the page so you can view it. So really simple but really effective tool if used right. The next tool is the e-learning and we're not going to go through that because that can be a whole video on its own. 
but the e-learning is a big course creation tool so you can create courses pass marks people have to watch so much of a video before they can progress to the next module and so on and so forth so it's a full e-learning and training platform so the next one is the script generator and a script generator takes a while to set up but once it's set up and you've defined your avatar for the first time it doesn't take as long now this is literally invaluable if you're not good at copywriting because you can set up your avatar so who you want to speak to so you can set it as a uh, man in his mid 30s who works a nine to five or you can set it up as a lady in her 20s who uh, is an entrepreneur and so on and so forth so once you've set up your avatar you can come in to generate script and there's literally scripts for almost any kind of niche and if we come into here you can see there's all sorts of different scripts so there's webinar scripts advertising scripts headline scripts all sorts of stuff and then if we come even further you can get scripts for squeeze pages long form sales letters so literally whatever you're doing whether you want a script for a video for what you're going to say or whether you want a full sales page you can create it here in the script generator so really powerful tool here the next tool we're going to go on to and quite possibly the most integral one of most funnels is social proof so social proof if you don't know is that little box that pops up on the bottom of websites when someone's entered their info or when someone's bought a product so again a really simple tool a lot of these are really simple tools but really effective in marketing campaigns so to start this off we're going to create a campaign test campaign and we can set it to either e-learning or the contact form and email form in the drag and drop site builder so we're going to grab the domain and by default it will choose someone's gravatar or avatar from the gravatar website to display here but if they haven't got one set you can choose a default image to show here so all this you don't need to worry about obviously the mobile devices you can enable pop-up show more button is if you want to show a list of all the users who signed up instead of just a pop-up so we can leave all that as it is and the translation tab is if you want to put it into another language you can just change it to different languages to show up you can view a list of your clients here so all we need to do is grab the code so this is the data collection code so this should go on the page where your email marketing form is and this code should go on the page where you want it to display so if you want it to both display and collect, you want both of these codes on the same page. And this is the code for the table. If you set in the last menu for it to pop up a list, this is the code that you want to put in the HTML. So we're going to copy the data collection. Come back into the head scripts. Most of them are in the head script. And I'm going to delete the share locker one so that doesn't keep popping up. So now I'm going to save. And I'm going to put an email marketing form on here. So configure. change the URL save so now we come back to the website input our email and it's going to take us to the home page now if we come back onto here, refresh, you can see that we've got a client, Jet32123 from Ely. So now if we go back on the web page, that will pop up at the bottom. 
just behind me. There we go. Jet 32123 from Ely. You can see that all these apps aren't really slowing down the page very much. Everything's loading well and everything's working properly. The roulette is a pretty cool tool that's not been out too long. It takes a little bit of setting up, so I'm not going to go through it all. But basically, you can put a roulette wheel as an exit pop-up on a website where you're selling products. And you can set it to give them a certain discount when it spins and whatever it lands on. So you can do like 5% off, 10% off, 20% off, 3% off, whatever, or um, a load of different um, prizes. So you can set that. And then you can grab a coupon code. If you've got coupon codes from Amazon or something like that, you could put that in there. Or you can use the coupon code generator inside the actual website builder. So if you come here, you can manage your action. Uh, sorry, coupons configuration. So you can add a list of coupons. And then you can actually plug them in to the uh, coupon generator here and it will give them a certain coupon when they opt in so each you can hook it up to mailing boss and when they opt in it gives them a unique code or you can just have a blanket code that everyone can use and the builder or zap you haven't really got to worry too much about that's to send out sms through whatsapp and the video wrappers another cool little tool so you can wrap text across the you can wrap images and text across your videos so if you're putting a youtube video you see those videos with text and banners across the top so you can do that with the video wrapper and the instagram autoresponder is pretty cool as well but you need a business instagram account to be able to run it so i haven't hooked that up yet myself it's not essential to build in a strong online presence right now so that's why we're going through the main ones the SMS tool is another new tool so you can send text messages out to people and hook, hook up all the integrations with text. So you have to buy credits in order to be able to send SMS. I think it's like 0 0.01 pence per text or something like that. Um, so you can add people in here and have it send out auto responses um, just like a SMS auto responder. So pretty cool. So that's all we're going to cover in the apps today. I believe the ones we've covered are going to be most relevant to most businesses. And just have a play around in there. Go over this video again, see which ones can fit well into your business and ones that will benefit you the most. So that's it for today's video. I hope you found it useful. If you did find it useful, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.